Common in European countryside, the weasel is the smallest carnivorous mammal in Europe. It has sharp hearing and keen eyesight. Its body, reddish on the back and white on the belly, with a long tail, stretches about 20 centimeters, slender and flexible, allowing it to slip into tiny holes about 2.5 centimeters in diameter. The weasel's diet consists of small rodents and birds. In winter, it settles in attics and barns, often staying there into spring to raise its young. In summer, it nests in bushes, on a bed of grass, straw, fur, and leaves. The young are born deaf and blind, but two months later, they are strong enough to follow their mother on hunts. For the ancients, who believed that the weasel gave birth through its mouth because it often carries its young between its lips like cats do, encountering this animal was seen as an ill omen. And when this carnivore appeared in a man's dream, it meant that he had or would have a wicked wife. Helenand, who was a poet, monk, and preacher in Beauvais towards the end of the 1100 years, recounted the astonishing story of a soldier named Gontran. One day, while he was in the countryside, he dozed off after dinner. As he slept, those accompanying him saw a small white creature, resembling a weasel, emerge from his wide open mouth. It slipped to the nearby stream. It went back and forth, unable to find a way to cross. One of Gontran's companions drew his sword and made a small bridge for the animal. The weasel crossed, wandered around, then returned using the same path to go back into the sleeper's mouth. At that moment, Gontran woke up. His friends asked if he had dreamed during his sleep. He replied that he felt tired because he had made a long journey, crossed an iron bridge twice, and discovered a treasure. What's most extraordinary is that he got up, took the same path as the weasel, stopped at the foot of a hill, dug the ground, and found a treasure. Jean Wee, a 60th century physician and opponent of witch hunts, said. The devil often uses these machinations to deceive men and make them believe that the soul is corporeal and dies with the body. Many people believed that this white beast was the soldier's soul, when in fact it was a deception of the devil. <laughs>